All right, number four, uh, we want to find the best buy. So they give us the number of ounces and they give us the cost. So what we need to do is um, divide each of the costs by the number of ounces and we're going to get the, the cost per ounce. Okay, so uh, the first amount we have 339. We're going to divide that by 15 ounces. And then uh, the next value we have 559. And we're going to divide that by 23 ounces. And then the last one we have 479. We're going to divide that by 31 ounces. All right, so I'm just going to divide each of these with the calculator. And uh, we'll see which one gives us the best buy. <clears throat> Clear out what we got. So we're going to do 3.39 divided by 15. It gives us 0.226. So about 23 cents per ounce. All right, the next one, 5.59 divided by 5, nope, not divided by 5, divided by 23. All right, that gives us about 0 0.243, 2.43, so about 24 cents, 23, 24. So right now, this is the best buy, it's cheaper per ounce. All right, now we got 4.79 divided by 31. I'm going to get 0 0.15, about 155, about 16%. We're going to say 155. All right, so this 31 ounce container being cheaper, which you could probably see that, um, more ounces, smaller overall cost, um, that definitely hints. And then almost if you look at this, just the price, if you double and double the price, it'd be six. That's four. So this will be the best buy here. And the best buy is the 31 ounce size. 31 ounce size. All right. So now we're back to proportion here. So number five. We have X over 36 equals 12 over 72. All right, so again, to solve this, since X is on the top, we only need to multiply by 36 since it's being divided by 36. So we're going to multiply 36. All right, and, and you can pretty much let the calculator do all of this if you want. Um, but doing it by hand, that will divide and give us 2, so that give us 6. Okay, so we'll get 6. X is 6. Alright, so if you if you do this by calculator, I already got the calculator open. Um, clear out. So this means you're multiplying 12 and 36. 12 times 36. It doesn't multiply the top and the bottom, it just multiplies the top. Alright. So we get 432, then you divide by 72 that's on the bottom, okay? in case you're trying to figure out, and we get 6. So I just did a little mental math, I can see that 36 is twice, so you divide that and gives you a 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So you can, once you see these numbers over and over again, you get a little bit familiar with them. So 6 is our answer.